Everybody sitting down, everybody ready? It's, uh, it's go time on another week. Welcome back, friends. It's Anders. Today, I'm gonna show you how to make a penicillin. Penicillin is a modern classic, meaning it dates back to 15 years ago. It dates back to 2005. It's not that old, but the components are classic and it drinks like a classic, so this one is here to stay. It's scotch-based, and it is made up of lemon, ginger, and honey, which traditionally were seen as therapeutic ingredients. So you can see why it was called the penicillin. I'm not a doctor, but if I were, I would prescribe this cocktail to you. Also, if you are new to the channel, welcome. We are happy to have you. Hit that subscribe button for more sips, tips, and recipes. And let's have a penicillin to the bar. Okay. We are gonna be shaking this cocktail. So I've got my Boston shaker, a jigger, Hawthorne strainer, fine mesh strainer, a knife, and a muddler. Also have a glass ready. I'm doing this in a low ball glass, which is what it's typically served in, but you could serve it in a Collins glass, high ball, doesn't really matter. We're gonna serve it on the rocks though. That's it. Now the booze. Okay, we are gonna need blended scotch, single malt Isla scotch, fresh lemon juice, honey syrup, and fresh ginger. <laughs> ginger stand. The blended scotch I'm using is Monkey Shoulder and the single malt Isla scotch is Laphroaig Tenier. You might be wondering why I'm using two separate scotch whiskeys in this cocktail. And that's because they are two separate styles. The blended scotch is more of a mild, smooth whiskey that goes really well in mixed drinks. And the Isla Scotch is there for flavor. It has a big peaty flavor, which if you're not familiar, tastes like smoky campfire and kind of a Band-Aid flavor, but in the best way possible. But a little goes a long way. And if you're not careful, it can overtake the cocktail entirely. So this drink is actually eight parts blended scotch to just one part Isla Scotch. But trust me, you're gonna taste it. As for the honey, this is a honey syrup that is three to one. So it's three parts honey to one part hot water. And that's just to thin it out because if you shake up a cocktail with pure honey, it's just gonna wanna stick to the inside of your shaking tin. And that's not good. Make a honey syrup. If you want, you could make a honey ginger syrup and that would be very good. In fact, if you were making multiple penicillins, that's what I would do. Then you can take out the step of having to muddle fresh ginger for every cocktail. If you are sensitive to honey in your cocktails because this too can overtake a cocktail, then I would suggest making a pure ginger syrup and replacing some of the honey with that then you're set. I think I've talked enough now. So let's make this drink. You go here. We're, We're gonna start with the ginger. And what we wanna do is cut three to four slices, just kind of like little coins. I'm not gonna peel it because it's not necessary, but look for any spots where there might be dirt and just get it out of here. We don't want that. I'm gonna go four slices because I want it gingery and just drop that into your shaking tin. Set the rest aside. Make a lot of noise. Okay, and then muddle away. When I muddle, I press down and twist. And it really breaks things up. Ginger can be tough, but you have to be tougher. It's starting to look like mush, and that's what we want. There, you see it? Yeah, bring it closer. That right there is the medicine. Okay. Now we can build the cocktail on top of the ginger. So I'm gonna start with the blended scotch. Two ounces of blended scotch. Three quarters of an ounce of lemon juice. Another three quarters of an ounce of your honey syrup. And then one quarter of an ounce of your Isla Scotch. Now, most recipes are gonna say, float this right on top, and you can do that. And if you've never done that, I suggest trying it because you might love it and you might prefer that. But whenever I float Isla Scotch on top of my cocktail, even if it's just a little bit, and I take a sip, all I smell is the smoky scotch. And for the first two or three sips, that's really all I taste. So I'm going to shake this in all together because I want the first sip to taste like the last sip. 
So that's what I'm gonna do. So one quarter of an ounce of Isla Scotch. All right, now we can add ice and shake. That should be good. Nice and cold. And it further broke up the ginger and glued the shaking tin closed. Yeah, you're gonna see a lot of ginger bits in there. And that's where the fine mesh strainer comes in handy because we don't want that in our drink. Now we can put ice in our glass. I'm using a large cube, but you can use small cubes. That's, that's fine, that works. There, here we are. And then double strain the cocktail right onto the ice. The original recipe, the garnish is candied ginger. And it just so happens I've got some candied ginger at home. But you don't have to garnish with candied ginger. Leave it garnish free if you want, or a twist of lemon, or a lemon wedge. But I am gonna do candied ginger. I'm gonna do two pieces. I don't know that I have room for candied ginger in this cocktail, but I want candied ginger. So I'm going to figure out a way to put this on. <laughs> oh, it's pretty good your prescription is filled. The penicillin. Cheers. Well, okay, I can't do that too much because it's starting to spill, so I'm gonna take care of that. Really nice. The ginger has a, a snappiness to it, just a little spice. I think the ginger and the Isla Scotch go really well together, and it really balances out the honey. Yeah, it's really nice. Oh. Oh. Really good. Yeah. yeah it's, just it's, so subtle. Right. This recipe was created by Sam Ross, a New York bartender. Cheers, Sam, this is a good one. If you have enough of these and you are sick, you may not care that you're sick. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, like and subscribe. I tell you this every week. You don't have to subscribe every week, just subscribe once, but you can like every video. Hit that notification bell if you wanna be notified the next time a video comes out and tell your friends about us. We're not going anywhere. All right, goodbye. <laughs>